fun. So today I am here to do a TBR video. So I have been waiting like all week for the Cramathon uh, challenges for the readathon, um, and they finally came out, and I just I can barely do any of them. <laughs> If you guys didn't know, Cramathon is a readathon that is being hosted by Sarah without an H and Whitney from Witty Novels. Um, I'll link them down below and like the Twitter and stuff. And um, basically, the point of the readathon is just to cram as many books into a small amount of time as you can. They hold one in the summer, which is now, and then one in the winter at the very, very end of the year. Um, it's basically just to catch up on your reading challenge goal, which I don't have to because I completed mine or just like cram a bunch of books that you've been meaning to read into a couple of days. This one is being held from July 9th to the 12th and there are a total of six challenges and again I don't know how many I'm going to actually complete but I have really been wanting to do more readathons because the thing is I actually do participate in quite a few readathons but I never talk about them on my channel. I barely ever make TBR videos or wrap up videos or anything. Um, so I figured I'd make a TBR for this one. Um, because I do plan on participating as much as I can. I am working Sunday, Monday, and Tuesday, which is three days out of the four that we get to read, but I I get to read a lot at my work, so I, I'm not that worried. So anyways, getting right on into the challenges again, I'm only going to really be able to do a couple of them, but... Okay. So the first challenge is read a book under 200 pages. And for that, I am going with The Vegetarian by Hong Kong. I just recently got this book, and it is only 183 pages. Um, and it's a, just a tiny, tiny book. And I have been really wanting to read this um, recently because it won the Man Booker International Prize, but I had actually had my eye on it before it won that prize. Um, so now that it did actually win, I'm just more interested in reading it. And again, it's tiny and under 200 pages, so. Challenge number two is to read a graphic novel, and I don't have graphic novels, but I have a lot of manga, so that should be able to count. And the one that I'm picking is D. Grayman, Volume 1. I read this years ago, and I really, really enjoyed the first couple. I think I read five or six of them, um, and... I liked them so much that my library was getting rid of the almost entire series, like 20 volumes of it, um, at their library sale, so I bought all of them, and I don't remember what happened to the first couple. I, I, I never continued, and um, I want to, so I'm going to reread this first one, maybe skim the f couple that I have already read and continue, but who knows. But this is what I'm planning on reading, but... Challenge number three is to complete a book you never finished, and I don't really have one for this, so I'm kind of cheating and going with the book that I am in the middle of because I haven't finished it yet. Ha ha! And that is The King's Men by Nora Sakovic. If you guys, you would not know this if you only are subscribed to me, but if you're following me on Twitter or Goodreads, you will know that I have absolutely binge read the Foxhole Court series, and that, like, in the last week I've read, like, five books in like seven days and um, this series I am absolutely obsessed with and I just want Andrew to be okay like oh my god like this book is a little bit on the higher page side it's like 370 pages but I am going to probably fly through it because I just want to know if Andrew's gonna be alright I just my babies my Neil my oh my god I just want everyone to be okay so I'm cheating and using this as the book that I never finished because I'm in the middle of it. Challenge number four is a novella or short story, and I don't have a novella. <laughs> I do have a collection of short stories by Murakami, which is Blind Willow Sleeping Women, that has, I don't know, 24 stories in it, but I don't know. I don't really know if I want to commit to short stories right now. I'm not really in the mood. But uh, if I suddenly feel like doing this challenge and reading a short story, I'll probably pick one up out of here. Number five is a novel written in verse or poetry, and I do not have a single poetry book. Again, I hate poetry, so I don't have a book written in verse. And challenge number six is to read five books in the four days, and I doubt that's gonna happen. I will be very, very happy if I finish uh, just 
the king's man, the gray man, and the vegetarian, like, that will be A+. plus. But if I somehow do finish all of those books and I want to move on, my next one in line is Shelter by Jung Yoon, which I just got from the library, and this was my most, like, I really, really want to read this book. I wasn't anticipating it. Um, by the time I heard of it, it had come out already. But, like, if I had known about it, it would have been my most anticipated book. But... I'm just so excited to read this. It is a bit on the bigger end. It's like 330 pages-ish. So it's a little bit bigger for a readathon, but again, I'll just be picking this up if I finish those other books. But I doubt that's going to happen, because again, I'm working three out of the four days that we are able to read. But who knows? I, I read five books in seven days this month. So yeah, these are the books that I am planning on reading again. I will be really happy if I just finish these three. Um, but yeah, this is my Cramathon TBR, and I hope you guys all enjoyed this video. Comment down below if you guys are participating in this readathon, um, and I will talk to y'all later. I love y'all, and I'll see y'all later. Bye!